The American astronaut John Young has died at the age of 87. He was one of just 12 men who have walked on the moon and he flew the first space shuttle mission. He enjoyed the longest career of any astronaut serving NASA for 42 years. Tim Ullman has been looking back at his life. The commander, John Young. If anyone had the right stuff, it was John Young. Here he is in 1981, preparing for the launch of the first space shuttle. He'd been working for NASA for nearly 20 years by this point, but when they needed a commander for their newest, most daring mission, there was only one choice. Roger all. John was a fascinating, devoted uh, and passionate and really fearless man and, uh, and just a role model to so many astronauts, and, and including the six people that are up at the space station right now. Uh, a life really well lived and, and a good friend of mine. In the ready room near launching pad 19, they get into their spacesuits, the final mission briefing behind them. John Young first flew into space with the Gemini mission, smuggling a corned beef sandwich on board as a gift for a fellow astronaut. And then came Apollo, where he became only the ninth man to walk on the moon. But despite all his extraordinary achievements, he was not one to dwell on the past. I'm sure looking forward to getting people off this planet, because I think it'll be very helpful to, uh, to getting the future done right for the kids and, uh, of tomorrow, our children and grandchildren, and that'll be a lot of fun. John Young was born in San Francisco in 1930, his family eventually moving to Florida. He served in the US Navy before joining NASA in 1962. In a statement, the agency called him the astronaut's astronaut, saying that they and the world had lost a pioneer. The legendary astronaut John Young, who has died at the age of 87.